Hey guys, Bridgette with Sandy Seed Company, and today we're going to talk about one of the most popular summer crops, aside from tomatoes, of course, squash. And there's good reason. It's quick growing and it will provide you with more fruit than you could possibly enjoy. You'll be sharing it with neighbors and other gardeners. But before I get into all those details, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we do a video. Okay. So let's talk about squash, all things squash. First of all, it is one of the most commonly planted varieties of vegetables for a new gardener because it's really easy. It's pretty big seeds, which means that you can easily direct sow it in the garden. And we, ha we definitely have some videos on our YouTube channel about how to do that. So it's bigger seed, which means it's gonna germinate pretty easily when it's direct sown. And it also grows very quickly. So you can see I've got this patch here. We actually transplanted this squash out, um, I believe it's been a week ago, and they've just exploded. They've, they've literally doubled in size since we planted them out. And that's because they're very quick growers. So they're great for somebody who's never gardened before. There are a few key things that you need to know all squash varieties. It doesn't matter if it's zucchini or pumpkins. They all need to be planted in full sun. Another key pro tip that doesn't just apply to squash, but applies to most vegetable varieties, is you want to water at the soil level. Particularly varieties of vegetables that have kind of fuzzy leaves. So cucumbers, tomatoes, squash, pumpkins, zucchinis. They're very easily susceptible to uh, different types of foliar diseases. So that's powdery mildew, downy mildew, um, all kinds of um, issues that the plant can have. And that is exacerbated if you water, if you overhead water. So if you take the hose or the sprayer and you just stand there and you water it from above. Now I know there's something about that that feels so good. It's like built into us as humans to want to like water a plant like that, but you're not doing it any favors. And a lot of times you're actually wasting a lot of water. So you really want to water at the soil level. If you're going to do it with the hose, you can set the hose down and let it saturate this area. We use drip irrigation on our farm, um, but however you water, the point is you really want to avoid getting the foliage wet over and over and over and over again. A few times here or there, not a big deal. But every time you water, you don't want to be spraying it with the overhead sprayer. So full sun, very important. You also want to make sure that you water at the soil level. The other thing that you want to remember with squash plants is they do have a male and female flower. And the pollen has to move from the male to the female or from the female to the male, however you want to look at it. It's got to go from one to the other to make baby squashes. So you want to make sure that you have plenty of plants. The more plants you have, the more chances for pollination. And then you also want to make sure that you have pollinators. So do you have butterflies? Do you have bees? Do you have ants? Do you have any insects in your garden that could potentially move the pollen from one plant to another? Now, if you really don't think you have any pollinators, you can actually physically move the pollen from one flower to another very easily on your own. I'm sure there's tons of videos out there on how to do it. I have never once had to do that in all my years of gardening because I always plant enough squash plants that it's not a problem. So that's the other big factor with squash. Something else to consider is the amount of space that it takes up. We have it planted in ground here and we'll do another video on this come midsummer. And this squash will take over this whole entire area. It will be totally covered in squash plants. You won't even be able to walk here. If you have a smaller garden, you still can grow it in a large pot or a container and you can simply let it spill over onto the ground and grow across the, the garden space. That's actually a great way to plant like watermelons. Just let it fall over and, and trail across the yard. Who cares? Uh, the point is they need a little bit of space. Now we do have different types of um, squash in the way that they grow. So for example, Peter Pan squash is a very good container squash because it remains pretty compact. And you'll actually notice on the back of our seed packs, we list which ones are good for containers, which ones are compact in their growing size, or what we like to call bush uh, squashes. 
So some, some squashes, like rounding niche, it, it is bushier than others, but it can get pretty big, whereas something like Benning's Green Tint, that can grow all over your yard if you let it. It's absolutely beautiful, and then you get all these delicious squashes. A common mistake that people make when they are growing their squash is they let the squash get really big. A really big squash might be exciting to show the neighbors that you grew like a baseball bat, but the flavor and the texture is going to be terrible. In general, squash is better when it's smaller and it's in its tender stage, and that's when you're gonna get really fine flesh, no seeds, and it's going to be the most excellent eating stage. If you do let them get too big, well, then you just make zucchini bread and you share with all the neighbors, so it's not a problem. The point is, uh, squash, very easy to grow, super fun, great for those who are growing with kids in the garden because you can see how quickly it grows and how easily it grows. Just make sure you don't overhead water, plant in good soil, add a little bit of organic fertilizer if you can because it is a big plant and it is going to grow a lot of fruit, so it needs to have plenty of nutrients in the ground to make that happen and plant it in full sun. Those are the top tips I can give you on how you can successfully grow any squash variety.